All right, guys. Hello, hello. I'm Steph, and welcome to our free training, my top three tips to set up for a successful launch. This is your pre-launch strategy to sell out online, a successful product launch or program launch. Um, so let me just check that I'm going live properly, streaming everything good. Replay viewers, uh, fast forward 30 seconds. I'll just double check. If you haven't joined us already, you can come join us in our free community group called Work Smarter, Not Harder, where we support each other as online business owners. Owning a business does not have to be lonely. We are there to support each other. So I've got lots of free trainings in there, as well as my free Go Live for Five challenge, where I help you get on video for the first time. All right, so let's get started. We'll be together for about 30 minutes, so grab a tea, replay viewers. Um, you can press pause, grab a tea, your journal. And I'm going to be sharing with you um, the exact steps that I do when I launch, as well as the turning point of where I went from a burnt out, unsuccessful business owner to a successful business owner. All right, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Stephanie McWilliams, and I am a multi-passionate person. Um, I did my training in all sorts of things, yoga, nutrition, dietetics, um, reflexology. Basically, I kept chasing around credentials instead of just teaching on what I loved. So um, that's what I'm here to teach you is how to skip that burnout phase, or if you're in it already, how to avoid it altogether. And um, if you're in it, no worries. If you're working full time, no worries. I was actually working full time when I um, dug myself out of burnout. So not to worry if you are burnt out, scattered. Um, this is the perfect webinar and position for you. So in December 2015, I had multiple revenue streams. I was making enough money, but I was actually burnt out energetically. And what that did was it led me to scattered energy. It led me to not enjoying my life at all and actually um, living in resentment. So um, I want to help you guys avoid that altogether. A little bit distracted here for a second. I'm just making sure that the screen is sharing properly. Mm -hmm. Sorry about this. I should just trust technology. It's not showing up. Um, just give me a second here, guys. Replay viewers, uh, fast forward. Good. So if you haven't done so already, you can join us in our free community group, Work Smarter Not Harder. As well, I have a YouTube channel where I always upload these videos. So if you've missed any trainings, okay, we're all good. Should have just trusted the universe, trusted the wonderful technology of Facebook. All right, we're all good. Um, so continuing on, this is, webinar is perfect for you if you already are burnt out or if you are a multi-passionate health coach and you just don't know what to do next to make it your full-time job or you're just confused, scattered, monkey brain. Um, so my turning point was actually my first successful online launch, which kick-started into me running my nutrition business full-time, and it's two years to date. Um, I really was yo-yoing in and out of I always ran my business for about seven years as a side hustle, and every time things would get scary, I would go get a job. So I busted out of that cycle two years ago this month, um, and or is it three years? Two thousand, two and a half years ago. Um, and I want to help you guys do the same because it's so easy to stay in that yo-yo mentality, and when things get tough or tricky or hard or scared, just run back to what you know, which is a job or um, the easiest thing is to quit your business. So I'm here to help you not quit your business and actually um, treat it like a real job. And um, what today's video is on is we're actually, I'm going to help you set up a successful launch. So 
that was my turning point was when I had my first successful launch. Um, I created a signature program instead of offering everything with the nutrition. I remember I used to have clients everywhere from an NHL hockey player to a kid to a 70 year old. So in order to really do well in the, in your industry, you have to be specifically known for one thing and an expert in one thing. So that was my turning point. I made a signature program. I hired a business coach and I had my first successful launch that it was a huge win for me. It brought in $5,000, which um, before that I, it was only trickle income that I was making through my nutrition business here and there really scattered. So that was my turning point. So I'm going to teach you exactly what I did and how I set up for that launch as well as um, how I continue to do that because I'm actually into a launch right now for my coaching program. Um, so I did my pre-launch and today's actually day one. So today's training video is on the pre-launch strategies, how to set your systems up um, so that your launch goes really well. So not using a process led me to exhaustion, burnout, scattered energy, resentment, low vibration, which is all a money and customer repellent. So if you are exhausted, burnt out, tired, and you're not making money, not to worry. It makes complete sense because it, um, that's a money and customer repellent. So don't be hard on yourself. It happens to all of us. Um, don't just try to go sell out of um, fear or scarcity. Um, make a plan and then do a proper launch and come from a place of abundance and abundant thinking, not from burnout and fear. So the best thing to do when you're burnt out is actually just do things to raise your vibe. Um, that's a whole other topic. So we'll get moving along here. Don't worry if you're working full time. Um, I had my first successful launch when I was working full time. Um, so I made my first $5,000, had my first $5,000 a month within my uh, nutrition business when I was working full time for another company. So not to worry, if you're working full time, you can still use the system. And the major difference was a mindset shift. Instead of um, hating my jobs, I really um, marked them as temporary. And that was a huge difference, knowing that they were actually an important piece to me getting to my deepest desires. That was that steady income um, allowed me to grow my business from a place of calmness instead of scarcity. So that was a major shift that I did when I went to quit my jobs is I started pouring love to them instead of hate. Um, and it's all about the mindset of, of being grateful and appreciative. Okay. So we're not going to go over all the four steps. Um, there's another training video on that. If you want that one, uh, comment below. Instagram viewers, it's in my bio, everything's in my bio link. Uh, but really quick, um, the four steps that I teach and that changed my life and business. Step number one, clear the clutter. You have to empty out your cup before you start your business or grow your business. Um, niche down, be specific on one thing, and uh, create your financial action plan, and um, take action and kick butt in your launch. So this we're going to be going over not the launch, but the pre-launch. So in between steps three and four is what we're talking about today. So really quick, what is a launch? Um, that's based because a lot of us, we get up to step three and then, or not even to step three. Some of us never even do any of these steps and we're running a business. So um, before your launch, you really want to set up everything so that you know you have, you're going to have a successful launch so that you don't open your cart and have crickets or, um, put all this time and effort into something and then nobody buys. So in order to sell, you must get in front of your audience consistently, give them valuable content and make an offer over and over again until you hit your financial goals. So there's different ways of getting in front of your audience and really you want to take people that don't know you, cold traffic, warm them up and then launch to them. So you don't necessarily want to launch to a bunch of people that don't know you already don't know what you do. You want to warm them up in the pre-launch phase and you really want to share your story, other client stories, testimonials, because people, um, a lot of the, a lot of the time when we're in the service industry, we don't want to sell or we don't want to, um, feel like a creepy salesperson. So the most authentic way to sell would be to share your story and share client stories and interview your past clients and have their testimonials. Um, so if you really hate selling, that would be my recommended way to share what you do and then keep it condensed to about 10 to 14 days for your launch. And always remember 90% value, 10% sell, um, and keep your daily activities and revenue generating. So 
and we'll do another video on launch strategies. Today is really just about that pre-launch strategy, how to have a successful launch. The biggest thing I see is people don't get started and they get stuck in content creation and they're trying to get their product perfect before they even think or attempt about creating a launch. Number one mistake, if you try to make it perfect or you're so worried about the content, it'll be years before you go live and actually make money with it. I've actually sold out of programs before I've even created them because I needed to know that people wanted it and it also, once it's sold, that motivates me to really create the content um, rather than the other way around. So to begin, begin. Um, and start with your pre-launch so that you don't get wrapped up in strictly content creation. I stayed in content creation for about seven years and that didn't pay the bills. So three simple steps to a pre-launch strategy that will make sure you, that you have a successful launch in your product or your program is number one, imperfection is perfection. Instead of stressing over the details and perfecting a product, pick a specific problem to solve you've probably heard of this, niche down, and start teaching on it as soon as possible. So an example in the nutrition industry, a specific problem, adrenal fatigue, stressed out people with belly fat. So that's a problem, and then you can create the solution, and that becomes what you teach on, you warm your audience up to, you create this targeted group who cares, and then you sell a product that's related to that. That's a simple example. Um, number two, build and nurture your audience. So all that this means is you can't expect people that don't know you to purchase your stuff. So you want to, um, all the way leading up to your launch, you want to be engaging with your potential customers. You want to be building your list. You want to be giving valuable content so people can get to know, like, and trust you. And then when you go to open your cart, it's not, they already know, like, and trust you, and they're more likely to purchase. A little tip with live video, when people see your face over and over again, no matter what you're saying or selling, they're more likely to purchase from you because they are more likely to trust you because they feel like they know you. Number three, have a sales page or landing page set up before you launch. And you don't need to know the details of your program, but you need to know these things. You need to know the price. People want to know how much they're going to have to pay. You need to know a start date or when your registration is opened and closed. You need to know the number of seats available and you need to know the outcome or what you're promising these people. Um, if it's adrenal fatigue that you're fixing, you are helping people balance out, um, balance out their lifestyle diet, giving them a supplement pro protocol to have a healthy, to get out of adrenal fatigue. Basically your outcome would be helping people get out of adrenal fatigue. Um, or giving the adrenals love after years and years of pounding on them. So that's what you need to know for the sales page, your price, your start date, the number of seats available, the outcome of what the customer is buying. And then if you have them testimonials, and if you don't have testimonials from paying customers, ask people that you've helped in your life to write you them. It doesn't have to be paying customers. It just has to be testimonials or experiences from people who have um, gotten benefit from what you have to offer. So the biggest tip is to begin, begin. Because hiding behind your computer or trying to perfect your content won't get you anywhere. And I did it for seven years and I was making no money. Um, I was bending over backwards. I was working in 10 clinics. Um, I was working in a health food store, medical offices, naturopath clinics, doctor or massage clinics, um, as a food rep you name it, I was doing it. And every time someone would ask me for a product, I would kind of adjust it for them. It was exhausting. Instead, create what you help people with and let people come to you for your specialty. Um, we know what Nike offers. We know when we go into the store and we want to buy an orange, we want that bag to contain oranges, not apples. So you really have to be specific of what you're selling because buyers want to know exactly what you're selling. They don't want somebody who can fix their whole life they want an expert for each area of their life so specifically in the health industry we can't stress it enough even with all of your credentials sometimes people are over qualified and not able to help anyone because it's really hard to identify how you help people so 
don't be scared. Pick, pick a problem to solve or a niche and try it out for a launch. And if you love it, great. If you hate it, do something else. If you don't know what to niche down into, send me a message and I'll pick one for you. <laughs> I've been in the health industry for many years and I know what people need and I know the popular niches because you also need to pair it up with what your warm audience wants or what your industry needs. You can't just pick something out of the blue. If nobody needs it, then it won't sell. So if you have no idea how to niche down or what to niche down to, I'll send you an example, adrenal fatigue. That's one. Uh, super popular. People know about it. Um, okay. So just to recap on what we just went over and what you can do today to actually make uh, waves in your business, pick a problem and create your solution to solve that and coin it as yours, create your own system. Um, so ways that you can do this is um, shop around, see what other people are doing, see what you like, see what your favorite client was to work with ever in your past, whatever years of teaching on health and experiment with that. You don't have to be tied to it for the rest of your career. It's just to, Really give it a shot and experiment with how niching down makes sales so much easier and makes educating your clients so much easier. And then it becomes so streamlined when you offer content information. No longer are you overwhelmed with all of the health information you could provide. You are offering targeted information. So a couple questions that will help you niche down is what do you want to be known for? What's your own story? So telling your own story is very powerful. So if you can tell your own story and turn that into um, a program or a product, great. If you aren't comfortable telling your own story, you can tell client stories with their permission. Don't use names. Um, storytelling is a really easy way for people to identify if what they have to offer is right for them. If you were to teach on a specific topic for 30 minutes, what would it be? And this is really useful because then when people ask you to guest podcast or, or come talk at an event, you know what you teach on. Um, you don't have to think of a topic. You know exactly what to teach on and it becomes so easy to teach on it with confidence because you um, breathe that system that you have developed as your solution for a specific problem. And of course, is it relevant to your warm audience? And if you don't have an audience, don't worry about it. You can collaborate with other people to um, speak to their audience. You can start growing your audience today. All that audience means is Instagram followers, Facebook followers, email list, um, networking events. When you meet people, you know what to tell them. You know, that lovely question that we all hate when we don't know what we're doing. What do you do? Before I knew what I was doing, I hated that question and I really wasn't, I really didn't like being a dietitian or giving meal plans. So I would dread it and I would say something quirky like, oh, I'm trying to take over the world or something. And I would change the subject. But now every time somebody asks me what I do, I'm stoked because I'm so passionate and excited about helping health coaches take their businesses online, helping people make money while they meditate. So as soon as you become comfortable with it, those conversations, those Christmas party conversations or walk in the park or whenever you meet people and they say, oh, what do you do? Um, it becomes an opportunity to speak about your amazing business. Whereas before, when you don't know what to say or you're not confident, it's an awkward conversation and then it goes down this weird rabbit hole. Um, I remember when I was a dietitian and I would say that. I would say, oh, I'm a dietitian. They would say, oh, you better not judge me for what I'm eating or oh, um, can you give me a meal plan? Or, oh, I am really shouldn't be eating this. So I hated that energy. Um, so I stopped saying I was a dietitian, but then I really didn't know what to say. So until I really became focused. And when I was in health, I um, niched down into helping people drop weight without counting calories because I really loved helping people um, love their life, love their food, and drop weight without obsessing over food. So that became my niche within Nourish, my nutrition business. And I really helped people drop weight without counting a single calorie or obsessing over meal plans. I just overloaded their um, life with amazing food and snacks and supplements and goodness that they forgot about those muffins in the afternoon or those chocolate bars or all of that coffee they were drinking before because I just got them to focus on all the good things. And that's just human behavior and basic psychology and mindset. Um, so nourished to date is still for the busy bee who um, 
really is struggling with the last 10 pounds and is eating healthy and exercising, but knows that there's a little secret to melting that belly fat, which is to drop into the parasympathetic state and really get out of the cortisol ripping through their body. So that's what nourishes, cut, um, cut cravings, drop weight without counting a single calorie. I've got all sorts of support groups there. And really when I niched down within my nutrition business, it became so easy to sell. I had cracked the code and taken it full time that a light bulb went off. People kept asking me for about a year. They were saying, how did you do it? How are you full time in your business? Even though you dropped your dietetics license, um, how do you keep growing? Your online presence is amazing. So people kept asking me, how did I do it? And, And I was getting frustrated. I was saying, I was like, oh, I don't have time to do this, I, you know, like Google it. I would tell them like people would ask me, Oh, how do you do sales funnels? How do you do this? And I was getting frustrated because I didn't have an, an offer or I didn't have a way to teach people. And for about a year I was frustrated. And then I realized that the universe was telling me to teach on that. And um, once I started teaching on it and packaged a program, I realized how fulfilling it was to teach other health coaches how to do that. So I completely automated my nutrition business and now I coach people and teach people to do just that, how to automate their businesses, take them online, take them full time. And why I love working with health coaches specifically is I've been there, I've done that and I have a whole community of people wanting health information. So as I coach people, that's a bonus to working with me as I get to actually leverage the communities I've nurtured for the past 10 years and help them sell out of their product, uh, their product. Um, so that's why I say I'm a coach to health coaches. Cause I've, I've walked that life. I know exactly what it's like. I know what niches sell well and I did it. So we always want to, once we do something successfully, we naturally want to teach others. Um, so that's how I got to where I am today of want of, um, teaching coaches and health coaches, how to run their businesses online properly, how to leverage social media and live video, how to use this four step process that I use to quit my day job in their own business and their own life to create a business and a life that they love. And then specifically, um, within these four steps, the last step launching, I'm working with people for 90 days and watching them and, um, leading up to the launch, everything's good, everything's good. And then launch comes and people get scared. So I'm committing to teaching you guys. I know launching is scary. I know selling your systems is scary. I've heard from enough people that they don't want to be a salesperson. They don't like it. Um, So I'm committing over the next 10 days to educate you guys on how to do it authentically with ease so that you can have successful launches because until you prove to yourself and your business that you can do it and you can make money, you live in this really weird space of low confidence, which again is a money repellent. And if you don't believe you're worth it, um, your customers won't believe it either. So that's uh, the best thing is to prove to yourself that yes, you can make money online, even if it's the smallest amount, because that little amount will add up. So to begin, begin, come join us in our free community group for the go live for five challenge. Um, Going live is scary, yes. You can do it PowerPoint style, which I'm doing in our group right now. Um, People don't see your face, so you can just read your PowerPoint slides. It's a really great place to start. And people will follow you on your channels if you're either educating them or entertaining them. If you can do both, great. Um, All right, so to set up for a successful launch, you have to warm up your audience. You have to give incredible value like, no, and trust factor is huge. You can create opt-ins for people to grow your mail list. So this opt-in is just something for free that people get to like, know, and trust you and um, get to test out what you have to offer to see if they want to maybe purchase something in the future. You can create targeted lists and groups so that you're really speaking to a specific person. You're not speaking to the general public or your your public personal Facebook page, you're really speaking to a targeted group of people that came for a reason. um, And you're staying relevant within that. You can do giveaways with people um, within your channels as your pre launch to really build up your numbers. And again, get people to come to your channels before you do your launch. Um, Partnerships, collaborations and guest postings are huge because as soon as you go on someone else's platform, you have access to their entire list. So before your launch, schedule in 
um, guest posts. So ask all your friends that have podcasts that's relevant to your industry and your, their list is, has some of your potential clients. Ask them if you can come guest post during your launch. Um, invite people onto your channel, the law of reciprocity. If you invite people onto your channel, you're probably going to get invited back. Um, partner with people. You could offer affiliates. Um, I offer all my past students 20% commission for any program sold. They can sell it better than I can. They went through it. So you can offer affiliate commission or, or incentives to people who know your products um, or programs and have done them. Use testimonials. Um, so I'm getting carried away. That's, that's more launch stuff. Um, we're still talking pre-launch strategy here. So I'm just going to wrap up here in the next five minutes um, with a key point. Your current vibe right now in this moment attracts the customers you're going to have. So not the vibe that you wish you were. So your most important job actually is to, is to raise your vibe before you go on my video or um, attempt to sell anything because you want to be high vibing. Um, so that's actually most important. Every time you go live or even post or write a blog, you want to make sure you've taken care of yourself and gotten high vibe first because your current vibe will attract those people into your business, not the vibe you wish you were. So some things that I love, of course, I just went for a hike. Um, I just danced to a song before I went live. Um, getting breath moving through your body, doing inversions, yoga, breath work, running, hanging out with friends, listening to positive affirmations. Um, I actually watched some of my last, like my previous videos as well to get into the, the zone to go live as well, sing, dance, do anything to raise your vibe before you share your vibe with your potential customers. And when in doubt, 90% value, 10% sell. So you can use this if you're going live on a webinar, give 90% valuable stuff and then at the end or throughout, tell people about your program. Um, on your channels, you could do 90% value, 10% sell. So nine awesome posts and one sales post. Um, that's the ratio I love that's worked for me. That's what I teach. And so some homework for you right now is think about as you maybe are setting up for a launch, think about some really creative, fun ways that you might love to get in front of more people. Some examples, Facebook Live, Instagram Live, live events, guest posting, interviewing, um, interviewing people, going on other people's platforms, hanging out at local hotspots, uh, personally reaching out to people, uh, workshops and trainings, networking. Um, so these are just some ideas and you don't have to do them all. So I know personally, I show up best on video and I do Facebook and Instagram at the same time. Um, and I don't do live events as much. Maybe in the future I will, but for now, that's where I love to get in front of people. So you don't have to do everything. And the best way to figure out what you love is to experiment with different things. And let me tell you a secret. Not too many people love going on video. Um, so don't worry if you don't love it. Try it out. Give it a good shot before you say yes or no. Um, and if you're nervous, I'll help you go live. We can go live together um, or try the webinar style because you can just throw your PowerPoint up, teach. I'm sure you guys have taught webinars before in school or um, that's an easy way to get started as well. And you're giving awesome content and your face doesn't have to be on the screen because your PowerPoint is. So for more free trainings, come on over to Stephanie McWilliams Coaching on Facebook um, or our, uh, my free community group. It's called Work Smarter, Not Harder. Instagram, fam, link in bio has everything. It's got my free trainings, YouTube channel, free groups, um, my calendar link, actually. You can book in to have a call with me. So if this information is useful and you are still monkey brain, scatterbrained, and you are interested in growing your business online, potentially even taking it full time, book in a clarity call with me. It's absolutely free, no strings attached. And we can chat about your business goals. And I'm going to give you some tips on that call. It's 25 minutes, how to grow your business right now. And some tweaks. I'll take a look at your Instagram page. I'll take a look at your website and um, just do a little mini audit and give you some advice right there on the clarity call to chat about how you can grow your business. 
All right, guys, I'm Steph, and I help people like you grow your business online and make money while you meditate. I love working with health coaches and business owners that want to get onto the online space, but maybe are a little bit nervous. You know it's the way of the future. You want to grow your business, but maybe you're a little bit scared or you don't have the systems. You're scattered. You're burnt out. Um, but you're over that. You really want to give this a go. A go. Um, you've been kind of yo-yoing in your business for two to five years and you don't want to quit it. You want to give it a full tilt. So that's what I help you do with the four step system and a 90 day growth plan. So I hold your hands over the 90 days and we go through the four steps, setting up your pre-launch and your launch right before we end our time together. So by the time we're done working together, you've had a successful launch and your business systems are set up so that you have everything automated and um, your signature offer is there so that you can actually just work on high vibing and working with your clients instead of stressing out about getting the clients. Um, so how to effortlessly attract your ideal client. That is what we do. And that's all. That's it. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the flip side.